Today's episode is brought to you by Loke Battle Mats. They just released the Big Book of Battle Mats Volume 2 in two separate sizes. The Big Book for Random Encounters and the Giant Book for Larger Tabletop Encounters. These map books are a huge time saver and help make game prep super easy. Just open the book and get your encounter rolling. They are designed for heavy duty use and wipe clean easily so that you can use them over and over again. Go ahead and mark them up as much as you want. The Big Book of Battle Maps Volume 2 and the Giant Book of Battle Maps Volume 2 are available from local gaming stores and online retailers. Link in the description. What if your co DM really likes uh, a particular NPC and they just keep popping up? I mean, yeah. So the the DM PC very very different than a party NPC. A party NPC is a NPC that sticks around with the party and maybe the party controls or you know they take a back seat. They're there for healing or whatever. The DMPC is seems innocent enough. I'm just gonna have a character. This is my character that I yeah. run, and maybe it's because you're switching off DMs every other week, and it's the same campaign or something, or same campaign world, and so one player, you know, you just sort of mix and match that kind of thing, switch out. If that works for you, that works for you. But the context in which I see it mentioned in and that I've encountered it is this is our DM. They are running the game, whether it's linear and, and we're just doing the thing or it's a big open world uh, type game. Um, and they have a full on PC. They level them up. Mm -hmm. they, they participate in every they, they want the same level of participation in scenes that a, a player character would have. And I think the, the <laughs> let us remember <laughs> that the acronyms are player character. This is a character for a player. And there's a reason why yeah. the DM has non player characters. They are not mm -hmm. characters run by a player by definition. Right. And that the fact that a character run by a player and a character run by the DM are, are defined separately is telling because the point of the game ultimately cut away everything. And I'm, I, I understand that cooperative storytelling is the new hotness for it, but I respectfully disagree. The point of the game is to make decisions and to exercise agency. And hopefully there's a cool yeah. story that comes out of it. There often is, but in order to exercise agency and to make decisions, you need to have some kind of element of the unknown combined with, with the ability to gain more information and the ability to like exercise that agency. If you have all the answers already really undermines the players who are there just with their one character. Mm -hmm. And in every situation that I've seen it in, it doesn't take long before resentment builds up because uh, of just like the, the DM cannot separate their role as a DM from this character that they want to play. And they, therefore there's overlap there or they're outright showing favoritism to the character that they're running. They get the best magic items. They suddenly start succeeding at everything they try to do. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm sure there are groups where this works for them. I'm sure there's groups where the DM doesn't particularly want to DM. They'd rather play. And this is sort of the workaround. You do you. I'm not going to tell you how to play your game. My experience of it, though, is that it's no good. And it's like this, this NPC is always around. They're persistent. They keep showing up. This one person keeps playing them time after time after time. They get super into it. You got yourself a DMPC situation going on. And the DMPC yeah. is very different from just an NPC that sticks around. Like the DMPC is a player character the DM is running. You know, and, and they approach the game from a player character perspective. And they, they expect mm -hmm. to have agency in making decisions, be a full member of this party. And for one person to have access to what's going on behind the screen, to have a say in what happens, what's going on behind the screen, and yet also fully participate in the game, I have never seen that work well. And I know that there's some groups, mm -hmm. every time we talk about DMPCs, somebody's like, I do it and it's fine. It's the only way I get to play a character. I, my my answer to that is like nobody else in your group can run a game for you so you can play without also having a DM without discounting their experience it's not something I've personally experienced and it's sort of like 
sort of one of those common wisdom things of like, don't do this. And I can see this being real uh, issue for people. It certainly would get under my skin as a player. I'd be like, wait a minute. Like, did they just want to play this character? Well, I was going to say, uh, f for my personal experience in my current game, mm -hmm. um, we have a small party. It's just yeah. a girlfriend and Audie and Jage. Yeah. And so since they're on a spaceship, what would what I would consider, it's not, he's not a DMPC, he's a DMNPC. Uh, but I yeah. did have to do a lot of rethinking after the first couple of adventures is the captain of the ship, Captain Harbadkin. Yeah. Okay. And he's there. He's always been there. He's mm -hmm. the pilot. Mm -hmm. um, when they when they leave the ship, he's basically the guy in the van who's on yeah, the yeah. communicator. When I first made him, I actually like made him in, as a full character in Cypher. And I had a yeah, full yeah. character sheet. And after like one adventure, I was like, I no. I'm not going to yeah. do this. And right. I like left it at home and I made him like a normal NPC. He's a level yeah. four. He's level five when it comes to piloting. He mm -hmm. has an asset in learning. Like he basically, if you need to find out something, he knows the ship so he can give you an asset in learning something new. Yeah. And yeah. so it was always the players going, we want to find this out. He's like, oh, let me bring up the computer. You got an asset. Yeah. So you always have an asset to figure things out. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, but that took... Like that, I actually had to like go. Whoa, wait a second, because I realized what I was doing. Because in the first adventure, he was there and like yeah. kind of participating. I never made decisions. Like, mm -hmm. and that, and to me, that kind of felt weird um, sure. for the captain to not be making decisions. But I just play him as he's just kind of a he's an old softy. Like he used sure. to be. Uh, he used to have a lot going on. Now he just wants to run cargo and just like be happy on his ship. He's content mm -hmm. in his life, and when big events are happening, he doesn't want to put anybody's... He's done that. It's like, I'm, I'm playing him like he's got some old war wounds, and he doesn't want to go through yeah. that again. So I put it on the players like, y'all got to figure out this out on your own. I'm not going to make you do anything. And yeah. so you have to understand like your players and, and give them the resources that they need, but don't make the decisions for them. And yes. don't, uh, and that's, that's where I, that's the middle ground I kind of settled in. When they get off the ship, he like goes off and does something else. And sure. often is a catalyst for more adventure. Cause they're like, yeah, well, yeah. where's the captain? Well, he's missing. He's missing. You know, what, I, go find what him. I'm hearing is a you know, well run party in PC. That's what I'm hearing. Well, that, and, yeah, yeah, that's, I that's, would say for the yeah. first couple of adventures, it was a little, it was a little, he was a little bit more, I wouldn't say I had my thumb on the scales, mm -hmm. but it was, I was, I was, my hands are on either side and I, I saw that and was like, mm, we're going to step back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and also just trying to keep up with the whole character sheet. No, I got, oh all, God, I got yeah, yeah, full character. With. I, I handle the, the NPCs, the captain by basically saying the group is the captain. Like, like, mm -hmm. and so I've done this in like Dark Heresy, a couple other games where it's like, yeah, there's an off screen inquisitor or commander or whatever as players, not as characters, but as players collectively, you guys are the captain. You can choose your missions, you can choose mm -hmm. the big decisions. You don't get to control this person. You don't get to decide everything, but like the executive function that this NPC represents the group as a whole has control over. Uh, that's one way to do it. There's yeah. the the other way is just like, yeah, I'm kind of hands off. You guys do what you want to do. Don't get in trouble. Don't make this more difficult for him. Well, I want him to be there and endearing because, well, I mean, he's you're probably, kill him. He's you're probably not going to be good for him. Yeah, well, yeah. It, you know, I don't want to kill one of their family members. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we'll see. But he is usually the point of, of uh, drama. And so certainly. eventually drama always catches up to you. Certainly. Uh, Certainly. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I went into a deep voice there. It's all right. Um, it's all right. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah, the DMPC, right? So the DMPC. Well, well the when the DM shows his PC in us, <laughs> that's going right to be Right, for problem. one. <laughs> like it's a, you know, unless it's a special game, playing some of that. Yeah. Was it honey and hot wax? Um, <laughs> honey and kind hot of wax. Uh, guy's situation. Uh, <laughs> um, 